what was supposed to be a holiday for students and staff at Mesolonsky High School, but the school will be open as a place for students to grieve. 17 year old Cassidy Charette of Oakland was killed when a hayride toppled over in Mechanic Falls, injuring 22 others, including several of her classmates. WMTW News 8's Paul Merrill has the latest information on the investigation. State police escort the trailer from Saturday night's hayride crash away from the scene late Sunday morning. Investigators tell us it was about 8.30 last night when something went horribly wrong on the gauntlet haunted night ride. Uh, there's multiple people with broken bones, uh, neck injuries, back injuries. It looks like the hayride operator was going very fast and went off into the woods. Investigators say it appears that a mechanical problem prevented the Jeep towing the trailer from stopping. The ride went off the road and hit a tree. 23 people were hurt in the crash. One of them, 17 year old Cassidy Charette of Oakland, died overnight at the hospital. Charette and several other victims are students at Oakland's Mesolonsky High School. State police tell us 16 year old Connor Garland of Belgrade was taken to Boston Children's Hospital for treatment. Harvest Hill Farms owner Peter Balduck and his family made a brief statement on Sunday afternoon. We can't even imagine the grief that the families are feeling right now. Uh, for the remainder of the season, we are suspending any activities at the gauntlet out of respect for those families. And I want you to know that we are all impacted by this as well, all of the families here. Investigators are praising the Pumpkinland workers for the way they responded last night, saying their actions may have saved lives. We're talking young people, 17 year old people. You know, administering first aid to other victims, doing the best they could. The state fire marshal's office is responsible for inspecting mechanical amusement park rides, but there are no required safety inspections to prevent hayride accidents. This is the first I think we've ever had in the state of Maine like this, and uh, that's why our agency probably handles something more closely to what this is than other agencies, so we were asked to look at it. State police say the man who was driving the Jeep is 54 year old David Brown of South Paris. Pumpkinland spokesman Scott Lansley says Brown is an experienced truck driver with a commercial driver's license. Staffers here are shaken up, not sure about what's going to happen next. We're a tight community here, and we have a lot of high school kids that work here who are vastly affected by this. And it really hits home, very much hits home. Mesolonsky High School will have grief counselors on hand tomorrow. In Mechanic Falls, Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8. And tonight we're hearing that both of the patients admitted to Central Maine Medical Center in Lewiston remain there for treatment. We're told they are in stable condition. You can find continuing coverage of this story on our website, WMTW.com, and on the News 8 mobile app. We have more information there about counseling available for the community tomorrow. It's all online at WMTW.com.